Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to South Africa. Last time we were building up an economy and stuff, and uh, the consumer goods and industrial goods and stuff have built, so I'm building some more industrial goods, just because 22,000 over 19,000 is just not enough for me to consider it uh, quite stable yet. Um, our petroleum is, is building, it's pretty close to being finished there, which is great, I think there's another like, I don't know, maybe 20 days? Yeah, 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 I was pretty close there, holy shit. I'm good at guessing. Wow. Um, this week as well will be a little bit more sparse uh, for updates and stuff, more because my grandmother is actually coming to visit from Nova Scotia, um, so it'll be kind of difficult to actually record anything uh, while she's here because um, yeah, it, it just will be a little bit difficult. So um, that's fine. We will get through it uh, together forever, and it'll be fine. So yeah. Um, so don't panic if, like, there's three days without an upload. I will try to get some stuff out this week. And, um, same goes for Next Gen. If you subscribe to Next Gen, it'll be a little bit more sparse. Though I do have some pre-recorded stuff for Next Gen, which is good. And, uh, those videos are generally shorter to, um, to be able to, uh, release and everything. So, it'll be a little bit better on that channel, probably. We'll get more regular uploads than, uh, than this channel. But uh, I will do my best to get out as much as I, uh, I possibly can. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking once the these are completed, um, which, again, not very much longer, we're going to just go to war against Mozambique and see what happens. Um, I forget how long it, it took me to actually go to war in the original uh, South African series, and uh, I should probably go and rewatch some of those videos just to see what I... Uh, what I did back then, because I honestly, besides knowing that that was my first one, um, and I pretty well dominated the entire world, uh, I don't know too much about that one. Um, I guess it's not that hard to dominate the world, though, considering, uh, um, you know, you start in Africa, and South Africa has generally a stronger, more modern military than most of everything south of this line here besides a few exceptions like Nigeria, Ethiopia to a degree, and Angola to a degree. Uh, but the rest of them are generally fairly outdated or very small uh, militaries. Now, when you get in the north, however, you have countries like Egypt and Algeria, Libya, Tunisia kind of, and uh, so somewhat Morocco. They, uh, they have some more uh, uh, modern militaries, I guess. Or Israel. They still have, like, tanks, though, and, like, things, but they're just not repairing because they have no money to repair them with. Wah, wah. Just waiting for Jordan to get into that fray, and then Israel will be destroyed. We lost, uh, North Korea's gone. Who else got, uh, kicked out? Somebody, somebody else did. I mean, it wasn't a significant nation or anything, but somebody else did, and I forget who it was. Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Um, sure. And uh, Europe is in turmoil and war and death and stuff. And surprisingly, Paris is actually kind of... I'm not dominating England, but they're, they're definitely um, holding them off, whereas England usually invades the mainland fairly easily. Paris has actually made several counterattacks, which is kind of different, but oh well, it's, it's nice to see different. Same with like Marcel is actually hanging on quite well. They haven't gone to war against Barcelona yet, I don't think. Uh, oh no, they might have. And beat them off somehow. Weird. But they're, they're still in, intact. Uh, South Germany is still fairly intact. Even East Germany hasn't really lost any land. Um, so, yeah, kind of different European spectrum now. Hell, Turkey is going to war against Bulgaria. What the hell? America's still fairly silent. Nobody's really doing anything. Illinois is just existing. I find that America makes big gains and, and stuff like that, but they do it very, very slowly. It's never very quick. I don't know. But anyway, back to our, our own country here. Just update on the world in general. So, what do they want to give us? Uh, sure, I'll take that. Why not? Thanks, UN. I highly appreciate it. I don't really care either way, but I, you know, I can say I appreciate it at least. Well, now what's nice with Mozambique too is now that they've gone to war with somebody, 
like all of these generally don't really move uh, from where they are so I'll gain all of these units or I should gain all these units up here anyway um, yeah because they don't really send them down for some reason I'd be sending all my units if my capital is currently under attack if I had any units that is uh, oh gas field oh good so they are completing so that's almost done good so they're pretty well finishing up now every day one will probably build every time it resets and that one's probably next oh Illinois got eliminated they literally just had a tank flowing around up here and they just got killed uh, uh, yeah by Missouri apparently what that's strange okay though whatever who got Chicago Wisconsin got Chicago huh that's kind of funny oh well good good for you I guess Wisconsin congratulations on getting greater Chicago and adding like four million people to your population of probably like not that much yeah, 10 million now. I don't think they were anywhere near that before. Oh, holy crap. Georgia. Hang on, Georgia. I'll send support. No, I won't. I don't care about Georgia. I don't care about Georgia. The only thing I care about Georgia for is the Walking Dead Family Feud. That's And Georgia Peaches, I guess. That's probably about it. That's all Georgia really does. I don't know. It's one of those... Southern states that you don't really consider a southern state, but you still know is a southern state. Like, you know, you, you don't really couple them with Florida, Louisiana, and Alabama, and, you know, the racism that comes with that. And, uh, the, yeah. I'm sorry to say, America, but most of your southern states are generally quite terrible. I mean, sure, Louisiana has New Orleans and, and, and stuff like, you know, fried chicken and stuff like that. What's that place that they say Louisiana Fast is their, is their slogan or whatever? Popeye's Chicken, I think it's called. That that actually looks really good. I, I'd love to try that. Um, I assume somebody's gonna comment and be like, "I've tried it. Don't try it." But uh, I still want to. I don't care. I will do as I please. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Sad thing is, I felt that coming. I just I assumed it wouldn't. Because I felt it yesterday, because I was on set yesterday. I guess I'll talk. I should stop zooming in and out. People get pissed off at me. Um, I was on set yesterday, and uh, on an actual film set, uh, which is nice to be on again, because that is my technical profession. That's what I paid a bunch of money to go to school for. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice. And um, where was I going with this? <laughs> I completely forget what my point was. Wow. I'm still very tired. It was it was a lot of fun, the, the film set. Um and uh yeah, it was it was it was a whole ton of fun. Met some awesome people. And uh I can't wait to go back. Sunday we're going back. I have to go back. I'm off today because my grandmother's coming into flying in today, so I couldn't go today because I had to go get her, but um yeah, tomorrow I'm back on set, which is awesome. Maybe Sunday as well, depending if we need some pickup shots and stuff. Uh, if you're on my Facebook page, I posted a picture um, of me on a mountain with my camera in front of me filming stuff. That was actually a very steep hill. I sat down and I started sliding immediately. I had to, like, anchor my feet down in order to stop myself. It was, it was pretty steep. Holy shit. Like, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so those are all built. So uh, I'm going to save it. Just... Just in case. If, if this gets us, like, a million atta people attacking us and we're overwhelmed and killed, I might just, like, go back and be like, okay, wait, let's, let's let's plan this better. But we're going to go to a war against Mozambique. Um, we just are, because we can. I'm going to build something first, though, because we are still down on certain things. Awesome. We're way ahead on petroleum. That's cool. We need some coal. <laughs> build industrial coal mine. We actually have coal. I was... I wasn't sure how much of that we had, but we do have some coal, so let's build some coal. And that should be good. And declare war on Mozambique. Bam. We're now at war. Little trench. I'm gonna bomb that capital. See, they don't send anything. They, they just 
They have something to send, but they don't bother. They're just like, eh. I'm sure it'll handle itself. I'm sure sure they don't have the units to take the capital. Pshaw, pshaw. I'm sitting here like, yeah, I've got 114. That should be enough. All right, let's bomb this capital. You're okay. So are you. As are you. Ugh. Just go repair. I hate the units that do this. It's so annoying. Like, just... If you are damaged, that's okay. That's fine. I expect you to. Because you suck. But... Just go repair. It's okay. Except for you guys. You guys suck. I just want you guys to die. Are they not sending anything still? No. And we've taken it over. Send the militias in. Yeah, there we go. Hooray! Victory is ours. Oh yeah, you can go repair. That's cool. That's fine. Repairing is is uh, a cool thing to do. Are we kicked out of the UN from that? Yep, we are. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those things where they're like, eh, well, whatever. But, no. Uh, war on Algeria. Eh, maybe later. So who do we have close borders now with? Okay, we can attack Zambia, who we actually have justification against. Well, we kind of can attack them. Um, maybe we should go after Malawi first. and uh, Or no, we can go after Zimbabwe first. So you take Zimbabwe, we have, we have a little bit of justification against Zambia. Not as much as we had, but we still have some. So we can go, we can take out Zimbabwe, and then take Zambia, and then move on from there. So that's an idea. We have to wait for that uh, supply to come out first, though. Jesus, we're none of that. Are we taking any hits on anything now? Industrial goods, of course, but we are building an industrial goods facility. So, you know, here's hoping that works in our favor. Let's put those AMXs down there. Uh, entrench. Built some stuff. We'll go and entrench them. Entrench. I think that's all of them. Yep, it is. Uh, maybe we should buy some modern units from Europe before they fully uh, hate me anyway. Paris doesn't like me enough. Probably should have done this before. And uh, they like me maybe a little bit enough. Give me... I don't really think too modern yet. I want a Puma. Let's get the M12. What do we got for tanks? Leopards. Um... Let's take the 2A3, I guess. Uh, aircraft, I think we're actually okay with, unless I have something really advanced. Yeah, the tornado's not advanced enough for me to bother. Um, we're not even... Oh, no, we, we are building stuff, so maybe we should take that, I guess. Missiles, I don't care. All right, let's equalize trade value and see how much more they want out of me. Hopefully it's not a stupid amount. 16, 8, yeah, okay, that's fine, I'll take that. All right, so let's go to, eh, eh, no, not deployed units, we want to go and produce units. There we go. The elephant might be better, actually, let's see. 44, 79, 44. 330, 27, 46. Wow, uh, well, oh well. Uh, Infantry-wise, I know that this is going to be a million times better. So let's build a ton of these too. Also, uh, when I wasn't recording, I bought these. These are for later. You don't need them right away. It takes all the fun of it right away. Let's take the military to, I guess, here. Let's 
take them up and entrench them there, go into Zambia f or Zimbabwe from this way. Hopefully there's not a lot sitting in in that. Otherwise we might have to circle around the city, which I don't want to do. I'd rather just attack it head on, be done with it. Because then we can go after Zambia. Because they don't have a whole lot either. Head on. It'd be nice if uh, Botswana would attack them. I mean, they took a whole shit ton of northern land here. Don't understand the whole point. Why don't they attack? Oh well, whatever. Let's send these guys down too. Actually, no, let's keep them up there. Just in case Tanzania attacks. We have some sort of defense before we can get back up there. Because it might take us a bit to get up there because the tanks suck. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to move up places. Oh good, okay, so these guys are separated from the, what the hell? Oh, from the main. So let's have them up here just in case. So how many do we have here now? Oh, go away. Underneath, okay, it's not bad. Eh, a little bit more than 108 with the artillery anyway. Good, that's not too bad. That's definitely a doable, doable number. Especially where we've already expanded our military. Gotta love expansionism. It's the way to go. Let's do this. I move him in there. That'll activate the. There we go. The garrison. Boom. Trench in there. Um. No, they don't have too too much. It might prove an issue. I won't know until we get up there. I guess. I might just loop around just for sake of it. Not send. I'm surprised they don't have any more. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sending an engineer after us. Or maybe they're not. They're just going to put the engineer in that town so we can freely bomb it. I'm not really sure what the thought process was behind doing that. There we go. Now he's coming. Now he's figured it out. And he's dead because of it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Stop bombing that in a minute. One of these guys will get up there before we take this country. I guess it depends on how much trouble we have at the capital, I suppose. Alright, bomb, take out this town. Alright, we got it. Now we're bombing uh, the, the capital area. Oh shit. Nigeria. Oh, Sudan. I don't really care. Oh no, Sudan. Oh no, Nigeria. And they're so close to me. They could take me out in like four seconds. Wait, wait, what's that? Oh, Ethiopia. What a weird war they have with them. It looks like Egypt's like destroying Sudan anyway. I don't think they're going to be much of a threat. Nah, uh, Nigeria on the other hand uh, could be a threat. It's very much possible. Hmm. Who else declared war on me? Libya, I don't really care about anything north. Anything north is is fine. We can we can deal with it later. See we're just bombing their city. Uh, you go ahead. You go up there. Once you're there, we'll see if you get bombed. <laughs> well, I don't know about him being bombed, but I'm certainly going to defend my city. Where are you going? So we get bombed on that, so... Let's take a Martel. 
get in there. Because if we can loop up and around, we'll be okay. Because we can just take that out and then take the capital out with it. I'm just hoping that uh, AMX doesn't decide it wants to uh, make a friend. Great bomb there. Boop, up there, up to there. Can I go down here without being bombed? No. And they're also sending a thing after me now. Sorry, we can send these units up now. Trench there. Continue to loop around. We're gonna start taking this land here soon. We just cut it off supply I'm Bombing me, okay, we're still bombing them out just funny Move up, there we go. Come on, that Rattel must be better than that engineer. Good, they've entrenched. Uh. God damn it. Okay. There we have striking distance. We've we've pushed out anything that's going into repair, which is good. They only have one thing in their capital anymore, so this is not going to be difficult now. Or it, should, it shouldn't be, at least. I shouldn't say it won't be. Fuck, no, no, don't clear it, don't clear it. Take out that capital. Come on, we got it. We got it. Gone. And the country is ours. Hooray. That was... That wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. I hate going around capitals like that, because sometimes the supply just sucks, and they have units they send, and it just takes forever to be able to do it. And, well, this one was... Oh, shit. This one was quite easy, which was nice. So next, we're going to go after Zambia, um, which might be a bit trickier, maybe. Hard to say. Depends if they send stuff from up there while I attack their capital down here. Like, will they pull the Mozambique, or will they actually go after me? It's, it's I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to find out. Did I get any units out of that? I got one wreck. I did get some planes, I guess. Uh, whatever. And uh, air, aircraft fab, two land fabs. So that's that's all right too. No complaints. Still got that aircraft fab up there building, which is strange. But whatever. Go up there. Go up there. And we're in the trench with the rest of the military. So, there we go. Lusaka is the capital of Zambia. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how much Botswana is going to take out of this. I mean, I know they'll probably take back their land here, but with me having a border right here, are they going to take any more up in here, maybe? Or, or am I going to take the vast majority? It'll be interesting to see, at the very least. I know they'll take back all of their original land, though, because we're allies, and that's what happens. Uh, when you're an ally with a nation, all of their former land goes back to into their custody. Actually, gonna go up there, but you know, whatever. Zambia. 
So say I'm going to be next, and after that we'll probably go after Malawi just to take that sector there. And after that we'll probably go after um, Tanzania. I, I could go after Nambia at some point, I just don't want to right now. I, I will eventually. They're not a problem or a threat or anything. Angolia might go to war with them anyway at some point. But we'll take Tanzania after that, and then we're in striking distance of uh, more nations afterwards. So Kenya and uh, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. Burundi. So probably take out like the small ones there just to get rid of them, and Kenya just to get rid of them. Um, Kenya is one of those nations that doesn't have a, a base outside of its capital too, which is actually kind of nice because we don't have to worry about them bombing us too harshly, hopefully. See when we get up there, I guess. But I'm going to end this episode uh, here, guys. So next time we'll go after Zambia and probably also Malawi, depending on how fast we take Zambia. And maybe even start the war on Tanzania, who knows. Um, but yeah, uh, also, if you want to vote still for Supreme Ruler Ultimate, what series I should do, uh, go right ahead, leave a comment. There is one nation that is definitely well ahead of all the others. Um, if you go in the comments, you can probably figure out which one that is. Because uh, everybody's like, oh yeah, do that. Uh, so, yeah. But for sure, is to leave your vote. Um, if anything seems much, 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 much more appealing, I might do it. Who knows? So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.